you, big girls. It's your girl, Brenda. And um, I decided I was going to do a cooking video today. So um, for those of you who have been asking, here it is. And uh, full disclosure, I'm flying by the seat of my pants here. Um, I don't really have a set recipe in mind. I'm just going to cook and tell you what I'm doing as I go. Um, I got a little inspired by some things that I saw on Facebook and also um, by a meal that I had with my girlfriend Christy a couple of weeks ago, actually about a month ago. Christy is also an excellent cook and uh, she made this really, really delicious Southwest pasta salad. So um, I'm going to steal some ideas from her and impart some of those flavors into a regular salad. So um, what I'm doing today is I'm making just a regular salad. Um, I'm calling it a grilled shrimp avocado salad and uh, I'm going to grill some shrimp and um, put that over a bed of romaine lettuce with some Roma tomatoes and cucumbers and uh, some black beans and some corn and I'm making a uh, cilantro lime vinaigrette that's going to double as a marinade for the shrimp. So um, with that said, I've got a couple of things going right now. Um, whenever you're grilling shrimp, I like to skewer mine. So um, if you look here, you can see I've got some uh, wooden skewers soaking. You always want to soak your wooden skewers before you cook with them, whether you're putting them on the grill or whether you're um, going to use them in the oven or whatever. I also have my black beans going. You can see here. Um, got them with... Uh, just simmering with um, a little Goya sofrito and a little bit of the recaito or however you say it. That's what it says, but some people say it differently. Um, I'm not Spanish, so y'all will forgive me. And um, I also have a packet of the Goya Saison. In there as well so um obviously i'm not of latin descent at all <laughs> but i do love latin flavors and those items are staples in my house so um with that said well i've got my black beans going i am now going to get started on the vinaigrette so what i'm doing right now is got some fresh garlic here that I've already started to crush. I'm just taking the back of my spoon here to see if we can get a better shot. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing here. All right, so I'm taking um, just the back of my spoon and I'm just applying pressure and knocking it on the floor. <laughs> okay, let me get another bulb. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply some pressure to get it to crush. A, it's gonna make those flavors from the garlic naturally come out, and it also makes it a lot easier to peel. Okay, so I've got two cloves of fresh garlic. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and pop that into my, my food processor. Okay, let me get that out of the way. Okay, I also have an onion that I've already peeled. I'm just gonna cut it in half. Okay, y'all will forgive me because I'm not used to videotaping as I cook. So these will hopefully get better the more that I do them, but um, I'm sure you will forgive me. So I've cut it in half. I'm also going to quarter it. I'm just going to take one quarter and throw it over here in my food processor. Okay. And I also have some really beautiful fresh cilantro here. So I'm just going to take about a handful. Okay. And I'm going to pop that in my food processor as well. Okay, I'm going to put that out of the way because I will need it later. And then I also have some gorgeous fresh limes. The produce today at uh, Harris Teeter, which is my favorite grocery store where I live, was just really, really, really great. 
So, got beautiful fresh lime. Just gonna roll it a little bit to uh, soften it up and get the juices ready to pop. And then I also have my little handy dandy microplane. Okay, and I'm just gonna turn this and see if I can get y'all to see what I'm doing here. All right, so you can see my food stuff. I'm gonna move my stuff out the way. Okay, perfect. So I've got my microplane here. And um, let's angle this up some. Okay, that's better. All right, so I am going to zest my lemon with my microplane just to give a little bit of pop. I love citrus zest. I use it in my desserts. I use it when I'm cooking. Um, sometimes when I'm like making fish or seafood, I like to make rice with that. And um, I will zest a lemon or some lime into the rice as like just as I'm finishing with the cooking process, just to kind of brighten up the flavors a little bit. You really can't go wrong with a good citrus zest. Okay. All right, and I'm also going to cut the lemon and just squeeze some of that juice down in here. Okay. Okay, now let me grab the lid. All right, we put the lid on. And I'm gonna grab some salt and pepper because I forgot to do that. Okay, so I've got my sea salt and my black pepper. And I've also got some olive oil in here. So what I'm gonna do, it's gonna get loud here, folks, so just bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And let So you saw I'll put some salt and pepper in here. I'm also going to add some extra, extra virgin olive oil. All right, so I'm going to turn this on. All I wish that this had smell vision because it smells really, really, really good. Okay. All right, so um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and skewer the shrimp, pour this over it, and let them marinate. So be right back with you. Okay, so I'm back and I'm um, I went ahead and skewered, ooh, skewered my shrimp. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this marinade that I started, a cilantro lime, if I can get this thing to come off. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna pour this on my shrimp and I'm gonna let it sit so that those flavors can infuse themselves into the shrimp. All right, so I'm just gonna toss them around a little bit in the pan to make sure that they're evenly covered. And again, I soaked the uh, wooden skewers and some water for about 20 to 30 minutes. You just want them to um, to get moist and to soften up just a little bit 
So then that way, um, when they go on the direct heat, which they will a little bit later, um, they won't burn up on you. So um, that was, I guess we'll call this step two of the uh, grilled shrimp avocado salad process. And um, I'm gonna let these hang out and get happy for a little bit and I'll be back to you soon. Bye. Hello, so I'm gonna try this again because I got interrupted. Um, but I am coming back to the dressing. And um, I kept the base of what I started for the marinade. So there's still olive oil, cilantro, garlic, onion, salt and pepper. Um, but I also wanted to um, just make it a little creamier and um, a little less oily for the salad dressing. So I'm building on top of that. So what I've done is I've added more fresh garlic. I've added the other quarter of that onion that I cut a few minutes ago. And um, I also added half of an avocado. And I went ahead and pulsed it in my food processor. So you can see here. And you can see in here, it's looking kind of thick and that's probably from the avocado and the oil. So I want it to thin out just a little bit. And so instead of adding more lime juice, I'm actually gonna go ahead and add a little orange juice. It'll give it that citrus zing that I like. It'll also give it a little bit of sweetness. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Pretty damn near perfect. Let's test it out. Okay, so this is the consistency I wanted it to be. It's nice and loose. Now, mm, that's good. That's really good. Sometimes I impress myself. So I'm just gonna add a little, a little more black pepper. And I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and add a little chipotle powder also. So bear with me one moment, because I am gonna walk away as soon as I get this back on. Oh, come on. Ah, it's one more direction. There we go. All right, one second. Okay, so we've got some chipotle powder. I'm gonna add just a little bit of that just to give it a little heat. I'm gonna add a little more salt. There we go. Yeah, I know that looks like a lot, but it was hardly coming out, so. All right. my spoon it's just me but you still want to practice good cooking habits all right that's perfect so I've got my dressing ready to go my shrimp are marinating I'm gonna let those go for about another 20 minutes or so and then I'll go ahead and fire up the grill and get those going uh, so again I'll be back Okay, so time to put all this together. So I'm just gonna tilt forward so that hopefully you can see what's about to go down. All right, so here I've got my romaine lettuce that I've already rinsed and chopped. And here I've got the rest of the veggies that's gonna go in. So I've got my cucumber, which I already peeled and chopped. Some people like it with the peel on. I personally don't. For me, it's a textural issue. Um, I, I'm just not a fan of 
cucumber peel. So I tend to peel mine off. I also have some chopped sweet onion or white onion. I'm just gonna put a little bit of those in here as well. I know not everyone likes onion in their salad. I do. And um, I'm actually gonna do something a little unusual for me. I'm gonna add some tomatoes. I typically do not like tomatoes in my salad, but I think for this particular salad, it's going to be a necessity. So, and if at the end of the day, I don't like them, I can just pick around them. It's not that serious. Okay, I also have some sliced avocado that I'm just gonna go ahead and put in here. Okay. All right, now, oops, got my black beans I was working on earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and spoon some of these on. Okay. All right. And then I also have some corn. I just got a little can of corn. I drained off the liquid. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of corn. And I'm realizing that I forgot one element that I got specifically for the salad. It's very in one moment. Okay, I also wanted a little crunch, so I got some tortilla strips. Plus, I thought it just would be fun to add a little bit of color, a little bit more color. And um, I actually quite like these in my salad. So I'm gonna sprinkle just a few of those. <laughs> See what I can do it without making a mess. I probably should have worked with a bigger bowl, but that's okay. All right, now for the star of the show, I have already, as you saw before, I marinated my shrimp, skewered them, and I just took them off the grill. Look at that nice caramelization. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide those on here. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and do another skewer because on what planet is four shrimp enough in a shrimp salad? Not on my planet. All right. Okay, so we're looking, we're already looking pretty good here, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this beautiful dressing that I made. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spoon some of this on here. This is my cilantro avocado lime dressing that I did earlier. And remember the base of this was my marinade for my shrimp. All right. Now, let's test it out and see if I've got a home run here or if I just made a hot mess. Because <laughs> again, I was flying by the seat of my pants. There was no real recipe here. I just um, got a little inspired and wanted to see what I can what I can do to make it work. So, let's see if I can get the perfect bite. I'm trying to get a little piece of lettuce. There we go. A little bit of this avocado. Got some black bean. Oh, come on. All right, going in. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't like to toot my own horn, but beep beep. This is actually 
<laughs> really, really tasty. Okay, so all put together, this was about 20 minutes. Well, probably more like 30 minutes. But um, this is a nice light meal. It's certainly big enough for two people. So um, I hope my mom's hungry when she gets home because she's going to be eating about half of this. And um, yeah, this is really good. So again, it was just romaine lettuce. Black beans, corn, cucumber, onion, fresh avocado, grilled shrimp, tortilla strips, and um, the cilantro lime dressing that I made and the cilantro lime marinade that I did on the shrimp, which I put on the grill. So um, I'm going to have to write this down because I'll definitely be making this again. And um, if you guys decide to make it, put your own spins on it and let me know what you do. And... Um, you know, let's let's have some fun with this. So on that note, have a fantastic Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And um, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below in the comment section. You can also email me at big girl etiquette at big uh, excuse me, big girl etiquette at gmail.com. You can also inbox me on Facebook. And um, as always, I look forward to your questions and your comments. So y'all be good. Thanks for rocking with me on my first cooking video. Hopefully I can make this a little more seamless next time and as i know this is this one's going to be a bit of a hot mess but um uh thank you for for rolling with me on this one and uh y'all have a good day bye